What is up, FPG fam? Further here, and today's video is gonna be more of a sit down conversation. I haven't done one of these videos in quite some time, so if you do enjoy them, go ahead and let me know by dropping a like and sub if you're new. I would love to have you stick around, join the FPG fam. It's gonna be a good time over here. Reason why it's gonna be a good time is because we did get into the Project Wave, the content creator program for Wuthering Waves, and that gives us access to the closed beta. So we're gonna to be touching on a few different topics here uh, today, and that's why it's gonna be more of a general sit down conversation because I don't have a particular topic I wanna to touch on. It's gonna be a few different ones because I have so many thoughts going on in regards to Wuthering Waves. So much happening, so much excitement, so much hype. So once again, I do hope you enjoy, and let me know in the comments down below if you enjoy these type of videos where we just sit down and talk as if we're on the couch, just kind of shooting it, right? But with that being said, the first thing I did want to touch on is that we did get into the Project Wave content creator program. Just in case you were unaware and you don't follow me on Twitter, which I do implore you to follow me on Twitter. A link will be in the description down below. Follow me over here because this is where I post most of my information in terms of what's going on with myself and the channel. So if you want to stay a little more tapped in, Twitter is going to be the place for you. YouTube is just where I upload the videos, but Twitter is where you get really more behind the scenes, I guess you can say. Um, so if you were unaware, posted this on the 19th, Project Wave content creator program. I couldn't be more honored and excited to be a part of this. And once again, this gives me access to the closed beta for Global on the 24th. So you can be assured that we're going to be streaming that on the 24th. And we're going to be really diving deep into the game, exploring all the ins and outs. I'm going to be doing character guides, in-depth guides for the characters. I'm really exploring all the builds and everything that Wuthering Waves has to offer. So I couldn't be more excited about that. So if you want to stay tapped in and you want to stay up to date, make sure you sub once again. It truly uh, means the world to me and I, I really do appreciate it. So I did want to go ahead and announce that. Now, the next thing I did want to go ahead and talk about is that all the stuff that's being shown because the CN uh, closed beta is going on and you have fantastic content creators like Steparu, uh, Timaeus, hopefully I pronounced that right, uh, Rexlent, who are providing such great gameplays and videos and posting it. Um, and so I've been trying to reframe from seeing that stuff because I want to experience on the 24th and moving forward all of the story and characters and and have it all be genuine and raw reactions i posted about that as well on twitter so i've been trying not to see too much but of course being on social media with twitter youtube and everything else it's nearly impossible you're gonna see something it's gonna happen you're gonna see some gameplay you're gonna see some characters it's it's inevitable right <laughs> essentially uh so i have seen a few things and i have seen some incredible things and, and what i have to say and this is one of the reasons why i wanted to do this video and why i have so many thoughts is because what i've been seeing character gameplay everything that weather and waves is offering in this beta has been fantastic it, it has been incredible to say the least and it only has me more excited to finally get my hands on the game on the 24th and try it out for myself have some hands-on experience but i mean the characters my goodness some characters i didn't even expect to see blew my mind some characters i want to main uh, the gameplay has been incredible these uh content creators are mastering the combat already it's phenomenal to see i mean everything i've been seeing has been nothing short of brilliant and i just couldn't be more happy for this game i couldn't be more happy for kuro and all the content creators that got to participate in this closed beta and, and everybody else you know they're, they're giving out access codes and, and things of that nature so everybody that gets to participate um it, it's just an amazing time to be an individual who's excited about weathering waves right it's just a really good time so i did want to go ahead and touch on that i have been trying to not see too much and, and not get too spoiled but it's almost impossible nearly impossible now moving on from there uh talking about the cn closed beta of course there was the gotcha and the gotcha was a hot topic i don't know if it still is it might have simmered down a little bit but it certainly was a hot topic here not too long ago i did want to go ahead and touch on that and kind of throw my two cents in and, and give you my thoughts on it um the gotcha system let me go ahead and explain this the gotcha system is very similar to another game that's very similar to weathering waves i'll just leave it at that where you have a 90 hard pity where you're guaranteed a five star but if you don't get the rate up five star that you're looking for then you are guaranteed for the next five star that it be that character so essentially you have the 90 and then you have the hard guarantee at 180 and then a soft pity probably around 70. very similar to another game that we know right now the thing about that is a lot of people were upset about that model but there are a few things that you have to understand and keep in mind i i see both sides i see the people that are upset and i also see the reason why kiro went that way 
and I'm gonna give some explanation and then I'm gonna give my feedback here in just a second so why are people upset about this well it doesn't exactly mirror what people wanted it to be especially individuals coming from the PGR community or the PGR scene and I'm one of those individuals who it back in the day wanted weathering waves to mirror punishing gray ravens model when it came to the gotcha system because it's so free to play friendly and it's very generous and merciful <laughs> is that the right word it, it just it was right it, it really was but the thing about it is and i believe the reason why kuro adopted this model similar to another game is because it's a proven model to be extremely profitable and what you have to understand is at the end of the day weathering waves and kuro is a business and it's a business that needs to thrive in order for this game to succeed and to survive so they're adopting a model that's proven that's effective and that's understandable as well right the other thing I will state about that though is that this is closed beta. This is not the official final product. So it is subject to change and has the ability to change and closed betas are known to receive feedback. That's what closed betas are there for. So as long as we give proper feedback, not attacking or giving negative criticism, proper feedback. If you're doing that, if you're just attacking them just to attack them and not providing any real constructive criticism or positive feedback that can help change and make things better, you just have to sit in the back i'm sorry it's just the honest truth you do if you're giving positive constructive feedback that's the way to go because that's how you implement change right but it's a proven model and they're giving it a shot and seeing how it works and they're probably seeing how the community's reacting to it but the thing about them adopting the pgr punishing gray raven model is that it's not the most profitable I have to be honest it's not the most profitable and weathering waves needs to be profitable because this is a game that's a massive undertaking that Kuro is trying to have succeed so that way they can do bigger and better things in terms of better characters better gameplay better events increasing the the world the map it just leads to all of that so I do want the game to be successful and make a lot of money, but I also want it to be fair to players in general. So there's a happy medium that needs to be struck. Now, the 90 pity and 180 pity was never a model that I was a huge fan of, but I never truly opposed either. It was just okay for me. Uh, but if you're asking me the type of feedback that I would provide, I would prefer just a very hard 90 pity where you're just guaranteed the character at 90 and it be that, and then you move on. I think that's a fair compromise. Um, I believe you can still generate money that way and still have the players happy and just do away with the 50-50 altogether. I don't think anybody likes the 50-50, so just go ahead and throw that out. Have a hard 90 and it'd be that, right? Future editing further here. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention and I wanted to add is that if they do the hard 90 pity, then they can make revenue in other ways such as skins for your characters and other consumables or collectibles that you can get within the game that people will be more than happy to purchase. So that's just another way that they can generate revenue. They can keep the hard 90 pity and I think everybody would be happy that way. But let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Did want to go ahead and add that really quickly because I forgot to mention it. Now we can get back to the video. But we'll have to wait and see. Once again, we'll provide our feedback in the closed beta and see if there's any change. There might not be. They may stick to this. And that's perfectly fine as well. It's not the worst model in the world. It's just not the most favorable. But it's not the worst. And then in terms of the currency, I mean, you have to remember that this is the closed beta. So they don't have any events that they're putting on that can generate even more premium currency for you to be able to use in the gotcha. All you really have is the open world, opening chest, and things of that nature. So, of course, you're, that's not going to be as free to play friendly. We'll have to see how much premium currency you can get in the open world by opening chests and things of that nature. But you have to remember when the game officially launches, there are going to be events, logins, dailies, where you're going to be able to generate a lot of premium currency, gifts in the mail, all of that good stuff. You know how they do it. So keep that in mind as well. But the gotcha system, we'll just we'll have to wait and see. Just don't be too harsh, right? Don't be too harsh yet. It's a closed beta. Let's go ahead and provide our feedback and see what happens uh, leading up to the official launch, whenever that might be. But anyways, guys, that's basically everything that I wanted to touch on and cover in today's video. Um, so once again, I do hope you enjoy. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your comments down below. I'm happy to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much for all the support, not only on the channel, but also over on Twitter. 
Uh, the engagement has been incredible. So I do truly appreciate that and try and get back to everybody as well. So with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody. You call me further. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.